Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make an electroscope. This is a very easy DIY and you probably already have at home everything you need for it. But first, some of y'all may wonder what an electroscope is. Hmm. The electroscope was the first electrical measuring instrument and it was invented by British physician William Gilbert around 1600 and was used to detect the presence of charge on bodies. What you will need is a bottle, aluminum foil and electrical wire. Mine is made of copper but any metal should work. If yours has a clear coat on it, like mine, take it off. For this I simply use some steel wool. Make sure that the cap of your bottle is made of non-conducting material. Take some aluminum foil and cut two droplet shaped pieces and poke a hole at the top. Next, make a small hook with the wire. Drill a hole in the cap so that you can pass the other end of the wire through it. Then make a spiral with the other end. You can cut the remaining part of the wire here. In the process of making this video, I managed to lose what I just built. I have no idea where it went, so I built another one. And here you can see that I added a plastic sleeve. This is not required, but I added it in order to have some rigidity with respect to the cap. I don't want this part to move when I apply a small pressure here. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. All we have to do now is to attach the two droplets to the hook. We are. Make sure that they are very flat. And then insert them into the bottle. And we are done. We made an electroscope. What can we do with it? Well, we can use it in order to detect charge. Let us see how. For example, take a plastic bag and rub it against glass, or in my case, against a plastic sheet. This works also great with styrofoam. By rubbing, some of the electrons get taken from one of the material and transferred onto the other one. 
That means that my plastic bag is no longer neutral. It has either an excess of electrons or it is lacking electrons. The electroscope can tell us. As I approach the plastic bag to the spiral, you can see that the two fours spread from each other and they come back together when I move away. Let me zoom in. Here I'm approaching and moving away. Approaching, moving away. Why is that? Suppose that the plastic bag has an excess of electrons. When I approach it to the electroscope, the electrons in the spiral get repelled and move down the wire to the aluminum foil. These foils get electrically charged and repel each other. Note that no charges have been transferred to the electroscope. We only polarized it. By moving the plastic away, the polarization disappears. But what we can do is to transfer the charges by touching the spiral. Now you see when I move away, the two falls remain spread apart from each other. Let me try to zoom in. Oh. Can see very well. Well, we can clearly see that the two falls are spread from each other. So now the electroscope is charged. I can instantly discharge it simply by touching it. So, once again, I approach, I polarize, but I don't transfer the charges. When I move away, the two folds come back together. Now, if I touch the spiral, I transfer some of the charges into the electroscope. It remains charged as I move away. So now it is no longer neutral. I can instantly discharge it by touching it and all the, the excess charges, they will simply go through my body and down to the ground. Now, what if I use a plasma generator? It's quite powerful. It generates 3000 volts. But as you can see, when I approach it and touch the spiral, it doesn't do anything to the foils. They don't move at all. From, they don't move away from each other. Why is that? This is because this device remains neutral. It doesn't take or give electrons away. It only moves them from one lead to the other one across the air. So the electrons coming from one lead and that may end up on the spiral are instantly taken back by the other lead. The electroscope does not detect current, it only detects charges. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and I would appreciate if you can share it on your social networks. You may also want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and discover my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.